Hi guys, in this video I want to make a life update because a lot of you ask me about this, ask how I am in these days and I want to say that I'm fine, I'm not arrested yet and I have no voice to describe what is happening in Ukraine and I cannot use that word anyway because now in Russia there are new laws that prohibit you from calling what is happening a war. You have to use the phrase special military operation and there are many other things other new laws you can read about this all online self-censoring is really hard but i will try to tell what i can tell in this video so in the beginning of february you guys who are asking me like natasha what is going to happen and back then i didn't even understand what you meant why you're asking me that because nobody in russia was talking about this nobody knew what was going to happen but then on the 24th of february we understood it and of course everybody was shocked uh, in first days i began to watch the reaction of people around me i analyzed what people were posting in the social media what their statements were and at first it seemed to me that all people share the same opinion as mine but then i realized that this is only what i saw in my information bubble and i learned that actually many people have a different opinion and i was so disgusted and terrified by this i couldn't believe my eyes i didn't know that propaganda can work so effective that people can be so brainwashed so after seeing the sentiments in the russian society i understood that instead of asking what do russian people think about what is happening we should ask do russian people know what is happening or do they know that they are supposed to think about this i know it sounds crazy for you but you have to understand the situation in the russian civil society the russian political environment and of course there are people who know this and who are trying to do something there were a lot of protests 15000 people arrested so i will not now tell much about this you can read about this all online about all the arrests searches and tortures and for these days i felt a lot of anxiety anger and helplessness because i tried to talk to people i i tried to do them some things that i cannot tell you about but it's so useless it's like talking to the wall i feel like i'm on a bus with a, a drunk driver who pulled into the oncoming lane and i cannot do anything about this and i understood a lot of new things for these days i understood a lot about psychology russia's uh, past present and future about economy i reconsidered my values i began to be more careful about people i can trust what i say and to whom i say it and in the first days i even read some words incorrectly for example i see one word uh, but i read it as something different in my mind because now there's some other word that is stuck in my head that word that is now prohibited to use so there has been a lot of stress and that's why i could not make this video because i cannot it's it's pretty hard for me to make videos when when i feel really bad both mentally and physically and now I would like to talk about the current situation in Russia and the future of our country because tens of thousands of people already left Russia. They're doing this for different reasons. Some of them are quite obvious and people are mostly going to Georgia, Armenia and Turkey because these are the countries that are the easiest for Russians to enter because we obviously need a visa to get to, to the US or to European Union and so on. So you probably heard about all the sanctions 
about big companies leaving Russia and basically our economy will be thrown back 20 years and as usual average people will become even poorer Russia will be more isolated and repressions will increase and I think that what is happening now this will leave a big mark on culture and this will be a shameful stain on our history I already saw some Ukrainian songs appearing about this all and there will be movies and a lot of reflections on this in the future and we'll have to correct the, the consequences of this for many decades this all is really sad and as for isolation you know uh, Raskomnadzor, uh, the Russian like media monitoring agency or whatever they already banned some really popular and important social platforms in Russia I cannot men like if I mention them now I have to put some special information because because there's a new law I know it's it's real stupid but uh, I think you understand what I mean what uh, social networks I mean and probably YouTube is the next because because they're already threatening YouTube and maybe this is the last video uh, posted from the free era of Russian YouTube I don't know yeah a new time a new era is uh, starting in Russia now and as for my YouTube channel I don't know what to do with it because I had some pre-recorded vlogs or really interesting ones but I cannot post them now like nothing happened maybe I'll post them in the future and now I don't know what to post maybe I should focus on my feelings how I'm feeling these days maybe I should make yeah I will make a Q&A video so I will post a post where you can answer your uh, ask your questions and I will answer them in my video of course I would like to sell a lot of things but I cannot do it because of the self-censorship that is killing creativity unfortunately but I hope that one day I'll be able to be more open with you and as you noticed I changed the name of my channel from Ya yeah, Russia to Natasha's Adventures it is not related to the current events, I wanted to do it for a long time, I really like the new name and it's not because I'm ashamed or afraid of the word Russian because on the contrary, um, I really regret that I cannot keep this word Russia or Russian because I think it is really important for me now to continue promoting my uh, culture, the culture of my country and uh, I don't want one person, I don't want to let one person to destroy all the beauty that is in Russia. And um, I will continue to make videos, I will post more often, I'll not disappear for another month. And uh, yeah, I will not share my plans now, maybe a little later, but I just want to say to you guys that I'm fine, I'm trying to be careful, so don't worry about me. And I want to say a big thank you guys to all of you, because in the first days I got a lot of supportive messages from you, where you told me that you understand uh, the situation that Russian civil society is in, that you don't blame me and it was really really important for me uh, I'm completely honest right now in the first stressful days it, it really helped me because I see uh, the real situation because our media tell us that all oh, people are hating Russia now in the West and so on but I see the true picture and yeah I hope that my YouTube channel will be the thing that I can rely on in the future and in these days, as, as I said, I understood a lot of new things and one of them is that I really appreciate uh, all the friends, all the like-minded people that I have in my life and it's important now to not lose connections, to keep these connections with the people who have the same values 
and to help each other because in the end of the day this is what uh, can help us in, in the very hard times and yeah once again thank you so much for this and this is it i'm glad that i finally made this video i reconsidered my words for like three times because again i don't know which things are safe to say now so this is the end of my video i will keep my chin up i will be very optimistic i hope that everything will be resolved in the future and please take care be safe and i'll see you very soon in my next video goodbye man пока пока